The ratio of the wingspan to wing root cord should be 5 or 6. The wing root cord is that portion of the wing that attaches to the fuselage, measured from the leading edge to the trailing edge of the wing. The wing thickness should be 12% to 14% of the wing root cord. The aileron surface area should be 10% to 12% of half of the wing surface. The fuselage length should be 70% to 75% of the wingspan. The distance from the leading edge of the wing to the back of the propeller should be 15% of the wingspan. The leading edge of the wing to the stabilizer should be 3 times the wing root cord. The horizontal stabilizer should be 25% of the wing area. The elevator, that is attached to the horizontal stabilizer, should be 25% of the horizontal stabilizer surface area. The vertical stabilizer should be 10% of the wing area. The rudder, that is attached to the vertical stabilizer, should be 25% of the vertical stabilizer surface area. The plane should balance at 25% to 33% of the wing root cord. This general rule is more for rectangle-shaped wings, not necessarily for odd-shaped or delta-shaped wings.